This video will explain how to design your Fit Web Themes Restaurant Edition website. So to get started, all you have to do is click Customize Your Site, or head over to Appearance and click Customize. This takes you to the Customization menu. To the left are all the different ways you can edit your site, and to the right is a live preview of your site as you edit it. To start, let's click on Header. This allows you to edit the top menu bar of your site. You can upload a logo or simply type in your restaurant name. Background color will adjust the color of the menu bar. By default, it's going to be transparent, so you can see some of the image behind it. You can change that though just by using these sliders. Now head back and click Social Links. This is a simple way to add social media icons to your menu bar. Simply enter in the URL and you'll see the icons appear on the top right. Design is where you can adjust the font, font size, and color choices for your website. By default, the site uses Londrina for headers and Open Sans for the body. You can choose different fonts and see how they look. Now head back and click Section Order. This is where you can adjust the main sections that make up your home page. For example, if I wanted to remove the photo gallery, I would simply click on this eyeball and that section will go away. Alternatively, if I want to move a section around, I can just drag on it and drop. As you can see, now mailing list is at the top of the site. For now, I'm going to hide both of these. Now head back and click on Section Hero. This is where you design the top part of your website, known as the Hero section. It features a large banner image, header text, and two buttons. As you can see, we've provided three different images you can choose from. However, you can also upload your own or find more public domain photos on this link. Background color allows you to change the darkness or brightness of your photo. By default, the photo is darkened a little bit, which allows the bright text to stand out. You can adjust this, though, using these sliders. Further down, you can edit the buttons on your site. These should be the main links you want customers to use, such as to place an order, make a reservation, call about catering, whatever your main focus is. You can edit these buttons by changing the text and then adding a new link. You can also change the button style. Now head back and click Section Location. This is a simple menu to show your address, hours, and contact information. You can also add an embedded Google map simply by pasting your API key. To get an API key, simply click this link. It just takes a few seconds. A gallery allows you to design a simple photo gallery. You might use this to show off plates or shots of your store interior. About is another optional section where you can add a paragraph section about your restaurant story or mission statement. Below that is email capture. If you use MailChimp, simply paste in your API key and list ID, and this will add an email capture form to your site. Your footer appears at the very bottom of your website. This is a place to add website credits, links, or any other information you need. You can also add accolades, which are icons of awards, certifications, or press links that your business has earned. For example, if you got a review in a newspaper, you might want to add that newspaper's icon and then add a link to that review. You can add up to six accolades. Finally, head back and click Navigation Menu. 
This is where you add the top navigation menu for your site. Of course, right now you only have a home page, so you might not have any other links to add. But later on, when you create your menu and other pages, you'll want to head back here to make sure they're linked. When you're finished, click Save Draft at the top. Then click the X to leave the customization menu. 